Welcome to the next video of our Selenium with CSharp.net course. And in this video, we're talking about writing custom methods for Selenium controls and operations that we have been doing all these days within our Selenium code. If you remember in our last video and in the previous videos, we were trying to perform so many operations using the iWeb element over here. And we also performed not only just the identification of the element using the locators, but we also performed operations like UI interactive operations like send keys, submit and click. Not only that, we also saw how we can perform the select operation using the select element and multi-select operation using the select element class file. So all these things we did until our last video. And this video I've been saying how we can actually start to write or think about writing a custom method in Selenium with very, very basic way. And then we'll try to extend that using the fluent way of writing the code once we start discussing about it. But for now, I just want to give you some idea of how that we can start thinking about creating and custom method for Selenium controls. So as you can see, there are so many moving parts within this two code. So we'll probably take first these two lines of code and then we'll start dissecting about them in methods. So as you can see, in these two lines of code, you may realize that we have a login link operation over here, which is an iWeb element type and which is identified using the find element method and also identified using its ID. You also know that this login link can be identified not just by its ID, but we can also identify using its link text like login. So we did even talked about that in our earlier videos, if you remember. So the same thing applies even for other controls as well. You could identify the same control using his XPath, CSS, class name, or even other type to locate that element. Not just the ID is going to be always the same. So you can see that this ID, like by ID, is going to keep changing with name, link text, or class name, or CSS class, something like that. So this is always going to be changing. So this is not a constant way to identify the control. And similarly, we are not only just performing a click operation all the time on the control, we may be performing a submit operation or a send keys operation depending upon the control that you're operating. So all these considerations that we need to take up while we start creating a method itself. Well, as that said, I'm going to show you how that we can start creating the custom methods in this fashion. So basically what we need to do is, is our methods pseudo code is going to look something like this. We are first going to say our method should get the locator and it should also start getting the type of identifier. And then we also need to tell that we need to perform the operation on that particular locator. So these are the things that we have to do. Well, as that said, we will see or use this pseudo code to start writing as a custom method within our code. So for doing that, I'm going to go ahead and add a new class file. So this is the first time we are creating a new class file within our project. So you just have right click and then hit the add new and then you'll see that it's a template for the class. So you can just go ahead and create a class and I'm going to say the selenium custom methods. So this is the class file that I'm going to be adding over here. It can be a public. You don't really have to make it internal for now. I'm just going to set the accessibility as public over here. And now I'm going to start writing the method. So for writing the method, the first thing is I'm going to say public static and I'm going to write this method as static. Don't worry about it. When I say static, this is not going to run in parallel execution, something like that. So people start talking about don't use static in any of your methods or class files. Well, that is only relevant for the iWebDriver instance, not for every single operation that you take. So static is still applicable even for a custom method. So don't worry about it. We'll talk about that once we start talking about the parallel execution. But for now, static is always quite right for custom methods. So you can still use it safely. No problem on that. So I'm going to say public static void, and then I'm going to perform a click operation. So let's say I'm going to perform a click operation. So this is the method that I wanted to perform an action, which is the click operation really. So in order to do that, you will notice that in order to perform a click operation within the code, 
we need first of all get the locator. So for getting the locator, we now have two different options. So if you just go to the unit test onecs file, you can see that we used to identify the locator using the driver.find element and then we need to pass the by.id of the login link over here. So if you see holistically, the by.id of login link is the one which is responsible for locating the element. So you can either pass this as a parameter for your custom method, then you can straight away do all the operations. So I will tell you how the first operation is going to look like. Then we will even modify the code a bit so that we can go slowly step by step. So for doing that, I'm going to start modifying the code a bit over here. But even before I do this one, as you know, if I want to perform the driver.find element over here, I also need to pass the driver object, which is nothing but the iWebDriver object. So without iWebDriver object, I can't really do anything. So you see here, even for select element, we use a driver.find element. Even for this login link, we use the driver.find element. So the driver instance object has to be passed every single time. So the way I'm going to do that is I need to parameterize the iWebDriver over here and then I'm going to say driver. And then as I told you, I'm going to identify the locator using the by type. So I'm just going to pass the by class over here and then just say locator. You see that these are the two things that I need to pass right now. The first one is the driver object and then the by locator. So you now have all the different puzzle piece required for you to construct this code line. So once you have the driver object being passed, you can now say driver dot pretty much like how we did before the find element. And over here, instead of by dot ID or link text that we pass, all I have to do is just pass the locator over here because this locator is of type by over here. And the find element actually looks for the by type as well as you can see. So I can straight away pass the locator here. And because I'm going to perform a click operation, I'm just going to say click. That's it. You see that? This is the method that we have to create. Now the magic will start turning into once I change the code line over here. So instead of writing two lines of code that we wrote before, now all you have to do it is you just have to use the Selenium custom method, something like this, this class file. And because we have written as a static method, we don't have to create an instance of this class file. We just have to put a dot over here and you can see that we have a click method automatically coming. So we can just use the click method and you see it asked me to pro pass the driver object. So I'm just going to say driver because we know that the web driver object is driver and I'm going to pass the locator, which is going to be by dot ID over here. So I can just copy this I can paste it over here. That's it. So this is going to perform the click operation. So instead of two lines of code that we have written before, we can just write only one line over here. I can even get rid of this whole line. So which is really a good improvement. We have our custom method and it does those operation for us, which is awesome. And I will tell you some more use case for this for now. I'm just going to leave this as it is. But while we go, I will tell you what are the use cases for that. So now I'm going to start replacing our existing EA website test that we have written over here. So basically, all I'm going to do it is once we perform the click operation using two lines, or maybe you remember, we also reduced the size of this particular login operation with just one line over here. Now I can replace the whole thing using this line of code, the Selenium custom method. And then I can just say click operation over here. And similarly, we can replace the send keys as well, as well as the submit operation. So this is really easy to do it. I mean, now you may think that it is not really reducing quite a lot of lines of code, Karthik. I mean, what is the major big difference between this custom method? Because it's just like an additional method that I have to carry on while writing the coding. Well, guess what? We can do quite a lot of operation over here. For example, if I want to perform a send keys operation over here for the admin, and let's say for your website, you always need to perform a clear text, which is nothing but clearing the website's text box first time. And then you need to perform the entry operation. You can do all these operation in just one single line. So I'll tell you what I really mean about it. So if you go to this website and if you hit login, let's say you want to do a 
clear operation before you perform a typing you could write that in the custom control so the way that we can do it is let's say i'm going to go to the synonym custom method over here and i'm going to start writing the method for public static void and i'm going to say enter text so this is my new method which is going to perform the enter text you see that the intelligence automatically writes some code for me which is awesome and i'm going to perform the same operation driver.find uh, element of locator but instead of click i'm going to say send keys and over here i need to pass the text so these two parameter is not sufficient for the enter text operation we also need to pass the text that we need to enter which i'm going to do using the string of the text and now you can pass the text over here and what i mean about the scenario that i was just talking about over here like every time before you perform a send key operation you also need to perform a clear operation that you can do using a driver dot find element of locator let's just say something like that and then you can say clear so this method is going to perform a clearing of the text box first and then it is going to perform a send keys operation over there so these two these three lines of code really which you essentially write while you write on the unit test file over here is now encapsulated in one single method which is the enter text method so now if you just go over here if i want to use the same or perform the same operation i can just write something like this i can just say selenium custom control or custom method and then i'm going to say enter text and i'm going to pass the driver object and i'm going to say by dot i think it's name that we used username and the text is going to be admin so now you see that we have in fact already performed two operation in this enter text method which if you write in this fashion like this fashion you have to write one more line over here but you have reduced that in this custom method over here so this is another great way of doing it but if you want to do some more operation let's say for a enter special text or enter password you need to do an encryption before you try to perform a send operation then you can just create one more custom method and you can say like enter encrypted password and in that method you could perform the logic of encryption of the text before you perform a send keys operation so those things you can write everything in the custom method which you can really use as a library in your framework code now, i'm not going to talk about the test framework yet but this is how we actually do that so now that you have seen like how we can write all these custom methods over here I'm not going to write the submit operation. I will let you to do that. But before I actually wind up this particular video, I also wanted to tell you how that it is going to be even more helpful while we perform some special element operation. For example, the select element that we did in our last video while discussing about the select by text, select by value and select by index for the multi select operation. So that one we can write as a custom method, something like this. So I'm going to say public static void and then i'm gonna say select drop down and because you know that this method is not as simple as that like you have to perform so many operation so i'm gonna pass the driver object the locator and the text and not only that so if you remember we also tried to perform a select class over here so now i'm gonna write the select element and then i'm gonna do a select is equal to new of the select element and then over here i need to pass the driver dot find element of the locator something like this and then because we are going to be selecting using its text i am going to say select by select drop down by text over here so that now i can say select element and select by text and we can pass the text over here so this way you can see that i can select the drop down by text so this is one way of doing it i can do the exact same thing using its what is called as its value as well so i can just say select drop down by value and then i can say a string of value 
and now I can pass select by value method and I can pass the value over here. So this is also for you and another way of using the custom method in Selenium C Sharp, which is going to simplify the way that you can write the code. So now if I go back to our test code over here, I can just replace this whole operation into just one single line. So I can just say, let me just copy this locator and I'm going to say Selenium custom method dot select drop down by text and I can pass the driver and the locator is going to be this locator. Sorry, we don't require the whole driver dot find element. We just need the by dot ID and I can pass the text, which is nothing but option two in this case. So you can see that this is also another simplifying way for you to keep doing these operation. And for multi-select, of course, we have to pass like an array and then we could do that. I'm not going to touch this. I will let you to do that because it's going to be quite straightforward as well. Just try to pass it all these values as an array instead of like a string and you are going to do the exact same operation as well. But you got the idea how these custom methods can be really, really helpful and handy while we start building up. And once we have all these custom methods in place, including the drag and drop and stuff, you will see that this whole custom method will become like a library as a framework for you while you start building the code. I have not spoken about the framework yet in this video so far, this series so far, but once we get there, we'll start to talk about it. But for now, this custom method in Selenium is more than enough for you to get started with.